In this episode, I'm going to show you five ways to organize your life. Let's rise. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Today's episode is about how to organize your life. So let's get started. Take the fuss out of what you're having for dinner using Rising to Be's Grocery Delatiator Printable Bundle. The customizable meal planner helps you to prep and plan your meals ahead of time. And you can even add links to your favorite Pinterest recipes to try out for later. Use the shopping list custom categories to never forget anything while shopping for your groceries. Keep track of your exercises, daily steps, water intake, body measurements, and other fitness goals you have throughout the week and month to track your fitness progress using the Grocery Gladiator Bundle. Bundle. Three unique color options to choose from. Available now at risingtov.com and on Etsy. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Rising to Be Show, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired so that you can reach your goals. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe as a riser so that you won't miss anything. And we are currently on the road to 1,500 YouTube subscribers, and I'd love for you to be a part of the journey. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at risingtov.com, and of course, shop our Women's History Sale, and save 30% off your entire order only at RiseMeBe.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Rise Me patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. In order to actually achieve every single goal you have on your vision board, you are going to need to organize your life in a way that makes it easy to stay on course and get things done. Also, if you need any help in creating your vision board for your goals, you can check out my video on my channel and I'll be sure to link it down below and in the podcast notes. Organized people tend to get more done because they have taken the time to create systems in their life to allow them free time to get what they want done. So I'll be sharing with you how to organize your life so that you can easily achieve all of your goals. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan Eleanor Roosevelt. Tip one, organize and rearrange. Organizing is a journey, not a destination. Anonymous. In order to get ready for the springtime, you're probably going to have to declutter. Get rid of those unnecessary things you purchased from the Dollar Tree and Ross. We both know the only reason you bought it was because it was on sale. But if you still haven't given those things a purpose in your life or your home, tidy up your workplace or office, especially if you're still working from home. You can't get things done if your desk is cluttered with things you should have gotten done last week or things you should have put away. I'm sure that thing you've been looking for since last week is probably somewhere on your desk. I lost my stupid AirPods case and I found it in my closet. It was underneath a gigantic pile of clothes from the day that I filmed my YouTube videos, which is why I have decided to give my overpriced AirPods a home of their own. So this won't happen again. I bought this pink jewelry dish a few months ago, I wanna say last year from Victoria's Secret, pink, where I can sit my AirPods when they're not in use. I've even watched several YouTube videos of people cleaning and organizing their homes because I understand that I don't know all of the organization solutions sold at Ikea and Target. There are even several Netflix shows on it to help you, like tidying up with Marie Kondo and get organized with the home edit. Even if you think you're already organized in your life, you can still learn something from watching them. I know I have. For every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned anonymous. Tip two, prepare for booby traps. Start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. Arthur Ashe, organize people prepare for the unexpected. They simply anticipate for what can and will go wrong. Preparation is highly important. I live in Louisiana where we are always in a hurricane season and we always seem to be affected by any kind of shift happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Because I know of my surroundings, I always try to make sure that I am prepared in any way I can. I make sure to have a first aid kit, candles, matches, and lighters for the candles, of course and so much more. The point is, I know that hurricane season will come around every single year, and I wanna be ready for it. I don't typically fall into the booby trap of needing something, and I absolutely hate being unable to get things when other people are trying to become prepared as well. Preparation is best done when you know you don't need it, because you know that eventually you may. 
Now with that being said, I'm not referring to the people who bought all of the toilet paper at the beginning of the Coco 19. Because you see, these people were buying something that wasn't exactly going to keep them and their family healthy, like hand sanitizer. They bought something that didn't exactly need to be purchased as a means of preparation. They were completely unrelated, when in fact they should have purchased things like bleach, hand soap, hand sanitizer, and cleaning wipes because after all it's a virus. And the best way to kill and get rid of a virus is to keep things clean at all times. So don't create your own booby traps by purchasing the wrong preparations. Out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Albert Einstein. Tip 3. Create a filing system. Clutter is nothing more than postponed decisions. Barbara Hemphill. The older I get, the more I need to access important documents like my birth certificate and social security card. Think about it. Do you know where yours is right now in this very moment? If you don't, that's okay. You still have time to organize and create a filing system so that you can easily access it in the future when you'll eventually need it. Things we need always have a habit of getting lost when they don't have a proper home. So keep your life and paperwork organized. Take advantage of different organization systems. Learn to finally use a label gun and how to store your important documents. You can even store them in two different ways. You can do it digitally or physically. I personally believe in doing both. You can go old school and buy a filing cabinet, of course, or use a smaller paper filer for your desk. I prefer a filing cabinet. Why? Because you can easily lock up your personal or business documents. During emergency evacuations, you can even have a travel document holder filled with copies of your important papers that you would hate to lose in case of an emergency. Or you can store them digitally on your computer with files. Depending on the computer you have, you can even add a password to the folder so that it can be accessed by everyone. Add some color coding and give your paperwork some categories so that you can easily find them. Some even create a guide or a key for their color coding, an index on what documents are in specific color coded files. Files. For instance, you could create a file with your name on it and include your birth certificate and social security card, etc. If you have a business or a side hustle, you can even create a file for that as well to house important documents like your EIN number, your DNB number, and of course your LLC or sole proprietorship, and of course your tax information. On my computer, I have a financial folder for my tax information and business information folders. I may be very new to this business thing, but one thing I do know is that if I don't take the time to get my business organized, I have a higher chance of the IRS coming after me, which also inspired me to get organized personally. Is it perfect? No. Am I done? No. But I'm happy that I have at least started on this organization journey, and I'm hoping that you will also get organized too. Bottom line is, if you don't use it or need it, it's clutter and it needs to go. Sharice Ward. Tip four, thriving three things. Have nothing in your house that you don't know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. William Morris. If you're like me, you will have also made a to-do list. And as you started to make that to-do list, your paper was immediately filled up. And sometimes seeing all of these things you have to do, you just want to take a nap and just quit which is why I strongly suggest trying to implement a thriving three or five list. Pick three or five things you want or need to accomplish in your day, no exception. Now I'm not saying you can only do these three or five things and nothing else. I'm simply saying start here. Or if you've successfully completed them in a timely manner, you can add it. You can add to it. Why? Because you were able to complete what you planned for the day, which means now you have the freedom to add or enjoy the rest of your day in peace. Determine the three things that would make them feel like the day was a success. They then figure out to schedule those things throughout the day. Laura Vanderkam. YouTube commenter Eric Lee. Great tips and I love what your channel is about. Keep up the positive shares. Thanks so much for your comment, Eric Lee. Tip 5. Organize your day. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. Eleanor Roosevelt. Create a morning routine. Give your morning a true purpose so that you can conquer everything you need in your, you need to do in your day. If you typically don't eat breakfast in the morning, you don't have to force yourself to eat breakfast if that's what you typically don't do.
You want your morning routine to be easy to stick to and easy to incorporate in your everyday life. If you're someone who never works out in the morning, you don't have to add that to your morning routine. You see, oftentimes when people are creating a morning routine, they tend to add a bunch of things that they actually haven't done in the morning. This is the last place you want to start. You should actually be adding the things you already do. Things that actually help to put you in a position to be more productive. So if you just need to drink a coffee or a tea to get anything done in your day, then start there. Then that means you need to keep this in your morning routine. Your morning routine allows for you to give your day a direction. Because when you do things on a daily basis, you won't have to worry about what you'll do on a daily basis. You'll just do them. Why? Because your mornings are already planned out, which leaves you with the freedom to accomplish your goals. Your routine doesn't have to be in the morning, you know. After all, everyone isn't a morning person and everyone doesn't exactly get their day started in the morning. You can even create an evening routine. Sometimes people get the most done when everyone in their home is asleep for the night. Organize people think through their days, Laura Vanderkam. Think out your days, don't just allow days to pass by. Give each day a purpose. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them rise to be who they want to be. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip. Tip one, organize and rearrange. Tip two, prepare for booby traps. Tip three, create a filing system. Tip four, thriving three things. Tip five, organize your day. Do you want even more Rise and V in your life? Then join the Rise and V Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from, starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic, and of course, you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 2 has access to monthly wallpapers, you get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers, they get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic, early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from, I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon Risers, keep rising to be who you want to be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. And before I go, I just want to take a moment to thank Elise W and Rose W, tier three patrons. This episode would not be possible without the support of our rising to be patrons and channel members. Thank you. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers.